Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Michael Wambo. So today we are going to cover about the line tool. So we are going to see uh, how we can manipulate line tool to work for us. So um, line tool, uh, it's a 2D element and it's found under the documenting. It's a documenting tool. So here is the line tool. So uh, if you want, if you understand how to manipulate the line tool, you're going, you're also going to be very good uh, when it comes to using the wall, because you understand that when you're using the wall, uh, you're you are, you are drawing on the ground floor. You understand that that is a, a, a the, the wall is a, is represented in lines. So even most of all these all these elements under design they will be represented in in as lines uh, on on 2d that is on ground floor or on any floor you you know that you can add different stories so if you're new to this channel please subscribe to our youtube channel so now we can get started so to 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 start on line line tool you come to documenting tool you choose the line so as you can see it is written a 2d drafting it's a 2d drafting uh, element so um, here is the line tool this is a setting dialogue where you can have different settings for the line so we can just um, see this uh, these are general settings so if you hit these uh, this dialog box you you see there are different types of lines that you can you can choose from so in our case I'm going to be working with a solid line then this one is the line pen then we have the the pen weight okay so we also have other 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 um, other settings here so this is how the point it starts with an arrow it ends with an arrow it has arrows on both sides so for now let's just leave this one like that but for my case i would like to adjust this to color black so because i've adjusted i'll just hit okay then as you can see i've drawn the line it's like that so we also have different things that you should know uh, we have the geometry method of the line so these are different geometry methods of the line so this is a single line this is a chain so if i so that is a chain line then we have these are the rectangular method then we have this one so to get started, I just want you to show, uh, because you've seen that line is one millimeter. As you can see, this line is too small to fit uh, a two millimeter. So what you do, you right click and add the true, true weight of the lines. So in any other line I'm going to draw, it's going to show, uh, it's going to show that, uh, Okay, mm. so true line weight. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me do again. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me change to a different a different uh, different. Let me change to a different. So you can see, this line is in its true weight. I also I also think that this one is in its true weight. Uh, I think you have seen a problem where we had the true weight of the line, yet we can't see the difference. So to spot the difference, we we have to add grids so that the grids can regulate um, our working area, so that it cannot be too big or too small. So you come to grid, then grid background, 
then these are different settings so this is a spacing uh, i can either decide to be 200 millimeters or 1000 millimeters so i'll have the grids these grids will help me to have uh, to regulate my working space so that i want to work with too big space so because you have seen uh, this is like this space is too big such that it can't even show the true weight of the lines so um, we'll just go and eat okay we just leave everything as it is the green lines are going to be in this color but we can change but let's just maintain that color so Okay. Okay. So um, from there, I just want you to show. I want to show you how to create lines that are uh, how to create a custom line. But before creating a custom line, I would like us to multiply this. So. So there are our construction grids. So you can see this line that is the size. So these grid lines are really going to help us a lot. So now uh, let's create a new pen set. So where do you create a new pen set? To create a new pen set, you go to options, element attributes. Then here we have lines, then we have the pen color and fills. So let's try that. So it's not there. So um, to create different pen pen weights and pen colors, you come here. So we we have this Arturo 100. Then we have a different these these gray boxes or whitish or whatever color you can see. Uh, this is where you're going to create your new custom pen pen color. So um so we can just choose that then now we want to have an, a, a color we have to have a, a color that is going to assist us so um, let's create uh let's create this then we hit okay then we can determine the pen weight so we can say we want it to be two millimeters so 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 stories so in every so this is what happens this uh dialogue you're going to store all your pen sets in architecture 100 and you're going to learn that as you continue with them so these these architecture 100 helps you to as you can see these are different layers so when you saw it in architecture 100 you can use that kind of pen set in all layers you don't have to differentiate uh, you don't have to create uh, such custom pen set in every layer you go because it is stored in architecture 100 you're going to have it you can use that uh, custom uh, custom line in any layer. So this is a layer. This is a layer. I'm going to show you where the layers are so that you don't confuse what layers are. So we hit store, then we hit OK. Now we have we have uh, so we can choose it. It's here. So that one is in two millimeters. So you can see it. That is a two mm. That is a two mm line. So, uh, so here are the layers. So as you can see, we're in the drafting layer. So because we save that line in Architecture 100, it means that you can use it in any layer. Layer. So these are different layers. But if we saved it in the site layer, as you saw, that line could only be used in the site layer so i hope you've got that you have understood that so if you you like in this video please subscribe to our channel and leave a like
we also appreciate your comment so uh what else can i show you let me show you how to okay let's choose this geometry method then we can continue with um we can we can choose another pen another pen set so okay that is a little bit small so i hope you can see here is where you you you, you see the millimeter the pen weight so let's choose a little bit i want a pen set that will enable us to do okay let's let's use this so yes there is our pen uh is our line so i want us to i want to show you how to manipulate this line using different functions these functions you're going to be using them in different um you're going to be using them even in design so let's hit the line then we can right click so you see if we want to move the line that is dragging the line we have control d rotate we have rotate e then we have uh, mirror hit we have that elevate drag uh, drag a copy rotate mirror a copy drag multiple copies and multiply so you can either it's it's very good if you're a beginner to learn this these um now uh, these functions and these shortcuts because they are going to enable you to work faster in on archicad unlike you have all the time to not unless you have all the time to keep on eating uh your mouse you are you left click or right click or through to to choose this so it's very good to to note that um it's very good to have a grasp grasp of or this because if even if i want to design and draw a wall i will still use these to drag to move them around so for now uh, i want you to i want to show you so i want to hit control d so if you have seen control d is to drag so you, you can see um i've just dragged however you can see we have con drag a copy so i can hit control control shift d then that i'll be moving i'll be dragging a copy so this one was just to drag then this is just to rotate mirror and do other stuff so let me let me hit control u you have seen control u is to multiply so you you get this dialog box over here so you can multiply you can rotate you can help elevate but let me show you how to in increment and spread and i'm sure that is going to help okay so let me let's control you again then we can okay so here is a uh, spaces and copies so let's put around three or four then we can see how it works mm -hmm. so control you again so this is increment and spread then this is increment so how many copies do you want so this is uh, six copies let's say do eight so you've seen hope you've seen what has happened then we can control you again we can first highlight then we control you then we can decide to spread this as you can see this arrow it shows the you that there is a fixed there's a fixed uh, spacing 
However, in the increment, you can just increase. Uh, but you've seen here we have a vertical displacement. So this you increase between a certain distance. Then you can also rotate. You can also rotate. So you see, so the same way, if you want to do a fence in design, you've uh, created your model, you can use this multiply function to do your fence very quickly. As I told you, Archicad is about, it's about the speed, it's about, um, it's about uh, working with precision and working with speed. So, you can see, so I've rotated different copies, I've multiplied different copies. So, then there are other things you're going to learn in pertaining the line. So we have the line here. So we have different, different, uh, we, we can trim the line, you can split it into two. You can adjust, you can intersect, you can, okay, this one is like you, you can chamfer or you can alter the, you, you can make it look like an arc. So the, all this, all this, you are going to, you're going to get them, mm, you're going to get them in different, uh, you can either use them from this area or you can choose to use different um, shortcuts. So, um, let me talk about, uh, So in the next lesson, I'm going to be talking about the fill. So stay tuned for the lesson on fills. Uh, something else I think I should talk about is that um, you can import a you can import uh, you can import an image. Then you. You can import an image then upon importing an image you can you can trace it using enlightenment then after tracing it and resizing it so i'm going to be i'm going to show you all those in fill so we are going either to i'm, I'm going to show you how to use the line tool still on the fill how to trace so Keep on to the next lesson. Thank you. And have a nice time. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.